Scuba Pro Evertech dry suits that I use for scuba diving. It's good. It's a good dry suit. I don't particularly like the uh, the valve, the way you have to push it like this instead of pushing the middle button. But everything else, I really like about it. Um, if you have the same model, I want to show you how to put dry gloves on here because there's no other videos on how to do this and it was quite a pain. I've got one on already. I just water tested it, it works great. So let's jump in. You have to order this expensive uh, dry suit glove kit from Oberon. Um, it comes with all these different colored rings. If you're wondering which kit do I buy, you buy the one that has all these different rings. It's got a blue ring as well. You need these different rings based on the size of the dry suit. The first thing you gotta do on these is to take Take the, the the little insert that's in there, take it out. I'd use a screwdriver and you just pop out these clips. You start at the back side of these clips and you get underneath it and you just push it forward and then it slides out. See that one came out right there. Boom. And you just go around the go around the loop, pop all these clips. Okay, so I got all the clips removed around the rim there. Then you can just basically slide out this this thing. There we go, I see how that whole thing just kind of comes out there. This is your cuff, your waterproof cuff. And there's a little yellow ring inside there. Keep that for later in case you ever want to take the gloves off. Keep all these clips, same reason if you ever want to take the gloves off, but you won't need any of this. All right, now they do give you some instructions on this when they send you this kit. And so I've of course followed those and what you do you start with these O-rings. They send you these O-rings, these little black O-rings. And you literally loop them on to the existing structure of this, uh, this system. I'll show you. It's easier to show than to talk about. They send you six of these and a few backup ones. And, um, and you literally slide them into this. There's a little space in here. And I use a screwdriver. You just slide it in there until it pokes out the back end. And then you catch it with your finger and the idea is you just thread this thing in so you got one little loop in and one little loop out and then the next step is to take it and slide it into the adjacent crack uh, you can see it see it's kind of poking out there on each of those and then i use the screwdriver to kind of just further pull it in there and you want those each hanging down like that so now you got those and you're going to do that with three of them. So you're going to put one here, one here, and one here, but you don't know exactly where to put them unless you use this piece that comes with the dry glove system. So you have to kind of put the dry glove system on there. You don't have to push it in all the way, but you see these little notches here, that's where they're going to loop onto. So you line those up, you see how it's lined up now, and then you swing it around here and boom, there's two here. You see? So now I gotta put the next one here. So I put my thumb there so I can mark it. Take the next O ring, shove her in there. There we go. Next one's on there. Two out of three. Third one. Now you can see we got all three. We got one, and we got two, and we've got three. Next, I already have a black silicone wrist seal, so I'm just going to use my own, which is designed the same way. The most important thing is this wrist seal has this little little ridge on it, and that ridge is going to slide into uh, this bottom edge here. You can see there's a little insert, and so this is as simple as just putting it in here like your wrist is going to go in, having it upright, and then flipping it back over and putting this little ridge into that insert like this. It's easy. You just, it just takes a little work to work it around. See? So that's not at all lined up with that insert yet. So you start, you find a spot that kind of where it went in there, where it went into that notch, and you just kind of work it in the rest of the way on the other spots. Work it in, pull it back a little until it slides into that notch. Pull it back, slide it in, all the way around. Okay, now your wrist seal is in, you see that? All the way in that notch. There's no notch on the top, so you can't get confused because you 
can't put it upside down because this one has that notch where the wrist seal slides into. Okay, so we take our, our actual dry suit and you line it up so that these, these little O-rings we just put on are lined up with the two notches and you slip it in there. And it's gonna be a tight squeeze because it now has a wrist seal around it and it was a tight squeeze to begin with. But you can do it, just slide her in there, work it in there, nice and gentle. And you can see now that these O-rings are basically in line with that. I might be off a little bit, so I might try and slide it sideways just a touch. Okay, now what you do is, is you just fish these O-rings up and you hook them on there. This is tricky, but not, not too difficult. Let's hook that on. There's one of them. See how that's hooked in there? And you take the other one that we did, you get that up there, and you fish it in there, and it'll just click on once you catch the, catch it. See? See that? So now we're going to do that with the other ones. We're going to take these, fish them on. Take these, fish them on. Okay. Now we got this one on, we've got this one on, we've got this one on. Now this thing is on here and this is waterproof. This is, if you don't want to wear the glove, you can just swim like this. This is good. All right. And the next step, and the next step is getting your dry glove. I recommend these uh, Showa gloves. But anyways, you can get these dry gloves and you literally pick one of the rings, whichever one fits. In my case, it's blue. I have a large dry suit. So the blue one fits really well, and you just slip it in there like that. And the way to determine which color ring you use, right, is you take this unit and you slip it in there. And you see how loose this yellow one is very loose? You don't want it to be super loose. A little trial and error, you can tell which ring fits in there appropriately. Um, and then you just literally just slide it in there like this, and then you fold the glove in like this and try and get it sort of even. Don't put it way in there, just a little bit around the edges is all you need. Like that, it doesn't have to be perfect. I've got this piece on there. I've got the glove on there. Make sure it's the correct hand. This is this hand. You want it on that side of the dry suit, obviously. So now you just take this wrist piece and you just figure out which way is front and which way is back and you screw it in there. You know, you basically just slide it in, lock it forward, and that's it. Now we've got a dry glove in, in installed. I also obviously would put this cloth thing up and, uh, and just to keep everything nice and neat and tight and debris free, you block that on and you're good. Just one word on the insulation. They send you these kind of chintzy insulation gloves when you buy the dry gloves. I get rid of those. I use actual Thinsulate. Um, much, much warmer. Or I use Smart Wool because Smart Wool, if it gets wet, it still insulates. It still keeps you warm. And these smart wool ones are pretty easy to find. Thinsulate ones, these are called Bruce River is the brand. Now the final thing though, is we wanna water test this. You know, So I'm actually gonna keep this wrist piece down for a little bit. And I'm gonna go submerge this in water for a while and make sure there's no water coming in. You wanna find that out now. And once you do that, you're done. Congratulations, you've got a dry glove. Get some insulation and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.